Hello friends, so for college cystectomy we are putting the various needle over the inferior crease of umbilicus, one a small stab wound is given by 11 number of knife and then we are putting the various needle in the inferior crease of umbilicus and then pneumoperitoneum is started. So, for the long time I have not put the you know the video of the college cystectomy. Last video I have put maybe 6 year ago. So, our student has asked that they want one a skin to a skin college cystectomy. So, now after pneumoperitoneum we are enlarging the incision 11 mm to put the optical port. So, this is cholelithiasis symptomatic and we will do laparoscopic college hysterectomy with the four port. So, here optical port is introduced, right side is the head of the patient, left side is the leg part and this is a 26 year old female, this is the hissing sound is coming once the trocar is introduced. Now, white balancing and focusing of telescope is performed and then telescope will be introduced inside. Here we are giving the epigastric port just below the GFE sternum and this is the right hand instrument of the surgeon will be taken in the epigastric port. So, here we are performing the college hysterectomy in the American position where surgeon will stand left and after putting the this is the third port that is mid clavicular line just below the costal margin or you can say just below the fundus of the gallbladder. This you can allow your assistant to put or you can also introduce. And the fourth port is 7.5 centimeter lateral and below the third port in the anterior axillary line or at the level of umbilicus in the anterior axillary line. So, this will be used for the assistant to hold the fundus of the gallbladder and once all the port is introduced under vision of the telescope then head will be up and right will be up position. So, we can see all the four port is now in and then we will start the surgery. So, the first step is that one semi traumatic grasper should be introduced and then we have to hold the fundus of the gallbladder and it has to be retracted towards the right shoulder. Better to hold the fundus horizontally so that your instrument will not touch the liver only gallbladder will touch. Now, with the left hand we can ho hold the Hartzman pouch and then we can give the anteromedial traction. Here we can see this is rovier sulcus is visible and rovier sulcus is at the level of porta hepatis. So, all your dissection should be above the rovier sulcus. This is the porta hepatis and now first we will separate the posterior peritoneum and uh, that should be we can use hook also we can use harmonic also and this is teflon jaw of the harmonic should be kept towards the gallbladder so that it will not puncture at least half mm that is 0.5 mm of the peritoneum of the visceral peritoneum should be left attached with the lever so that you will get a good areolar plane for dissection and at least one third of the gallbladder posterior peritoneum should be separated. After that we will give anterolateral traction to open the anterior peritoneum at the same level and only peritoneum should be taken, care should be taken that you should not push your harmonic deeper otherwise you can puncture the gallbladder or you can injure the artery.
after that we have to do a skeletonization of the cystic pedicle for that you can give the anterior traction over the hartsman and very thin film of the visceral peritoneum over the cystic pedicle can be separated all around care should be taken the teflon jaw should be pierced in the peritoneum and only half mm you should hold because you should not hold a thick tissue otherwise you can accidentally puncture the artery or you can puncture the duct so this is done peritoneum is separated now once all the peritoneum is cut now the job of the harmonic is over after that you can do the entire procedure with the simple maryland here maryland is introduced into the posterior window and this is the posterior window is formed but to make it more conform you can just dissect little more to the cystic plate so that at least one third of the gallbladder should be separated from the liver and that means you can enlarge the posterior window that will be safer because in the calots of the laparoscopy posterior inferior this edge of the liver should be visible after that you can make a maryland and just you can make the anterior window for that initially tip of the maryland should be kept towards the liver and open couple of time to make a plane between the artery and duct and then you can just rotate the maryland to keep convexity towards the liver and then you can separate artery with the duct and this is the anterior window so we can see critical view of safety and this is the icg we will turn the icg on and you can clearly see the cbd there this is cbd this is cystic duct and there is a common hepatic duct if you will push the telescope inside then you can see entire common hepatic duct together with the right and left hepatic duct so it's over now we will clip the artery first and while you are clipping both the limb of the clip applicator should be visible so light cable will be turned at a 7 o'clock position in the 30 degree telescope so you can see both the tip of the clip applicator here we are planning to cut the cystic artery with the harmonic so one clip is enough however you can do the clipless also but one clip is enough after that this is the clipping of the duct and we should take care that you should not go very near to the cbd so at least 3 mm you should go away from the cbd so that lateral clipping of the cbd should not happen accidentally so first clip is applied 3 mm away from the cbd now we are applying third clip and you can sweep the cystic duct with the lower jaw of the clip applicator so that any stone will not come in that and then we will apply second clip that will be applied 3 mm away from the first clip so this is the second clip and clipping part is complete after that you can cut the artery and duct so this is the harmonic which is cutting the artery and it will seal the artery also and after that you can cut the duct and then you have to give anteromedial anterolateral traction and just keep on separating the peritoneum folds of the either side and automatically you will get a areolar tissue plane always remember that white is right once you will get a areolar tissue plane automatically it will look white and that area should be cut you should not go very near to the liver and we should not go very near to the gallbladder also if you are using hook also similarly hook look and cook if you are using harmonic then better to keep teflon jaw towards the liver towards the gallbladder so that gallbladder will not puncture accidentally so slowly slowly gallbladder is getting separated once you have done your two third of the separation of the gallbladder then fundus grasper has to be better removed 
and you can optimize your traction with your left hand holding near the lever. And now this is the last part of the gallbladder has to be removed. This is the point where maximum perforation of the gallbladder happens. So, you have to be little slow and the traction should be optimized. Sometime blunt dissection also can separate the gallbladder. Now, before completely detaching the gallbladder from the liver, you should have a final view. For that, you may turn the ICG mode again on and you can inspect the entire bed and that will show you if there is any bleeding or any duct of Lusca or cystohepatic duct. Before once you will totally cut, liver will drop. So, this is the final inspection and again ICG mode is on and you can check the. So, there is no bleeding, there is no any duct of Lusca or cystohepatic duct and then you can do final cut. So, at the time of final cut, you have to be careful that you should maintain the plane of areolar tissue and optimize the traction in the infero anterior direction, like it should be inferiorly and anteriorly pulled. So, it is over, after that, you can bring a claw forcep and you can catch the clip of the clip up clip in between the jaw of the claw forcep and then can bring the neck in the cannula and then bring everything together. Outside you can cut the gallbladder and you can shuck it. So, bile will be sucked with the suction and if there are multiple stone you have to put a ovum forcep and that will empty the gallbladder. Alternatively you can enlarge the incision, but better is to take little time and extract all the stone out, so that you do not need to enlarge the incision. So, this is a very simple case of laparoscopic cholecystectomy and just I have put this video for just a repetition of the surgery. Thank you very much.